putting somebody who is <laughs> Ever wondered why the serial killers kill? Are they fully aware of their actions, or are they under the control of some unknown demonic forces? Number 1. David Berkowitz He terrified New York with a string of murders in 1977. The weird thing is that his dog told him to kill. But after 25 years of speaking to a media person, he distanced himself from the dog story. In his adult years, Berkowitz was in a period of extreme loneliness. He said that in his lonely period, he made contact with the devil and allowed that satanic thing to control him. He said that he got paranormal powers and killed many people, and he said that his goal isn't to justify what he did. He also added that he was not sure he would have stopped if he was not caught. Number 2. Charles Cullen He was called the Angel of Death. For about 16 years, Charles Cullen worked as a nurse and earned everybody's trust. He killed 30 to 40 people by sleeping over to the other side with lethal doses of medication. He said that the people weren't suffering anymore, and he thought he was helping them. Number 3. Andrei Chikatilo Andrei Chikatilo is a Russian serial killer. He said that when he used his knife, it brought him psychological relief. He killed about 53 people, mostly drifters and mentally disabled people. His killings were brutal. He would often chew off organs, gouge out the eyes, and stuff the bones with dirt. He said that he wanted to live a normal, nice life. Still, when he saw drifters having sex, it reminded him of his impotence and failures. He began to wonder whether those low-class people had the right to exist, and by this thought, he killed several people. Number 4. Yang Xinhai Yang Xinhai is a serial killer in China. He almost killed 67 people. He usually enters the farmer's home, rapes the women, and kills the entire family. He blamed his killing series on his breakup with his girlfriend, and as a result, Yang Xinhai has a full attitude to watch society. He said that he had done crimes just to hurt society. He said that he does not want to be in a society. Before his execution, Yang Xinhai said that when he killed people, he had a dire need that inspired him to kill more. He didn't care whether they lived or died, and it was not his concern. These thoughts led him to kill other people. He also added that killing people is very usual, and these sayings make people worry about these serial killers in society. Number 5. Anatoly Onoprienko Anatoly Onoprienko was a serial killer in Ukraine. He said, To me, killing people is like ripping up a duvet. He had killed 52 people over 7 years. By the time he was in prison, he had got the nickname, The Beast of Ukraine. He said that children are all the same as men, women, and older adults. He also added that he is never sorry for those he killed and doesn't see them as individuals, but just as masses. He told journalist Mark Franchetti that he had been groomed to serve Satan. He added that you had been taken all by a higher force, something that is cosmic, which draws him. He said with an example that if he wanted to kill his brother's first wife because he had, and he wanted to kill her, but he couldn't kill her because he did not receive that order from Satan and waited for all time, but it didn't come. Hearing his name itself is a nightmare for the people in Ukraine. He said that if they let him out, he would start killing again. And this time, it would be much worse, and about 10 times worse. Number 6. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy is a very cruel American. 17 hours before his execution, he spoke with Reverend James in his final interview. He said that he wanted to live a normal life, but when he changed his mind to pornography when he was 12, he sought harder stuff. He said that his porn addiction led him to this condition. He also said that pornography helped to mold and shape the kinds of violent behavior. He kidnapped and killed many women and young girls. He confessed to about 30 murders between 1974 and 1978. The true number of his victims is unknown. He possessed a disturbing charisma. With his handsome appearance, he gained the trust of his victims and society and went to public places and acted injured and gained sympathy and trapped them and made them unconscious and moved them to another location and killed them. Now you know why serial killers become serial killers. Suggest ways to stop these psychopaths from disturbing others in society in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.